Yeah. Next we talk about more effective. So what about more effective? What is the meaning of more effective? Means effective styles. Means they are more predominant. Means their decisions are valuable. They are they are much importance to the organization. They are valuable. So in the effective style, bureaucrat. What is meant by bureaucrat? Means they are effective styles. They follow. They have effective styles. Bureaucrat, a developer, benevolent autocrat, and executor. So whatever we discussed the previous war less effective. Now it is a more effective. The first one we discussed is about was about less uh, basic styles. So basic style to less less effective style more than basic style efficient effective style. Under bureaucrat styles bureaucrat he is a high oriented towards organizational rules. According to organizational rules. Next, rules and regulations, and he is having a good relationship oriented. Produces only few ideas, doesn't take initiative. Bureaucrat, he doesn't take initiative. Do not think means he is a purely for going to follow his own rules and regulations. According, he doesn't he obeys the rules. He doesn't conflict with rules, but he doesn't take initiatives. He doesn't take initiatives. Means whatever it is said, he is follows perfectly. That's what we call it as a bureaucrat. His orientation towards organizational rules and regulations is impersonal and less task and relationship oriented. He is good at relationships. Relationship oriented. Please mute your mic. The next developer, he tends to display implicit trust in people, relies on high relationship. They need to have high relationships. So relationship is given more priority. And he is a task oriented. He is task oriented. Next, he believes in commitment to work. Yes, very good. It is commitment to work. Next, he is yield various pressures. He able to get out of various situations, various difficult situations, which influence him more. The next third one, the benevolent autocrat. The, he is a directive manager who knows what he wants, and often gets without creating any trouble. And he is less oriented, adopts, adopts to positive economic motivation. And getting things done, and follows fidelistic approach in managing the organization means he is having both the features. He is a a directive manager. He is a directive manager, and wants gets without creating resent in high tasks. No trouble in managing high tasks. Next. He is a less people oriented. He doesn't communicate very well with people, but he has a relationship. But he, he doesn't uh, like a chit chat with people. Like the next executive, he is a high and high task and high relationship oriented executive. We call it as executive. He is having a high task and high relationship. The topmost high relationship. orientation which appropriate to the environment and his tasks regarded as integrated and interdependent what is the meaning of interdependent he communicates with different people different departments and whatever the job being shared between departments he can manage well and they are integrated and he tries to share the knowledge among people who are from very different environments it is he is a powerful motivational instrument he is a most powerful person so he motivates people motivation factors are high in nature so these th three models what the what do we call it as three different uh, represent 3d three dimensional model is going to represent what is meant by managerial what is meant by managerial behavior 
under managerial behavior how the 3d model is going to represent basic style less effective styles and ineffective styles okay everyone uh, just uh, let me have a glance of this so redin has taken a three dimensional grid and uh, it is taken the information from the management grid he tried to plot a graph representing modeled a graph modeled in graph representation 3d model he has given so in that model so he took 3d relationship task orientation effectiveness according to the effectiveness whether they are basic style less effective and more effective the terminology he introduced are first one under basic style so how they are related how they are related basic types of behavior separated manager related manager dedicated manager and integrated manager this is as in between effectiveness and ineffectiveness basic types of behavior the next one less effective type of behavior where deserter least bother about missionary they are they won't do their responsibilities up to the extent required autocrat compromiser the next the highly effective means they show some mark in the organization so that is what required dedication is required high commitment is required in the organization that we consider as a bureaucrat developer benevolent autocrat and executive okay this is what concerned with 3d model of managerial behavior